A study conducted by the Indian Council of Medical Research has revealed that only 28.5% cancer patients in India receive radiotherapy services versus the global benchmark of 58.4%. Hello and welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Arumi Nathurya and in this video we will analyze the shortfall and systemic challenges of cancer treatment infrastructure across our country. So we say that we do not have adequate radiotherapy services. But what do we mean by radiotherapy? So radiotherapy or radiation therapy is one of the many forms of cancer treatment services in which we use high energy radiation. High energy radiation to damage the DNA of the cancer cells. So we either damage the DNA of the cancer cell or we shrink the cancer cell. Because what makes cancer life threatening? It is this fast division, fast replication of these cancer cells. So they grow and they spread across the body. They infect multiple organs and that is when cancer becomes fatal. So under radiotherapy, we focus on using high energy radiations like the first one, X-rays. That is the most common type of radiation that is used. Then gamma rays. We also use electron beams. And the most recent one is the proton beam therapy. So we use these high energy radiations to damage the DNA of the cancerous cell so that we can stop them from growing, from spreading and then in turn increasing the cancer. And while doing all this, we aim to minimize harm to the surrounding healthy tissues also so that we can curb the cancer at its regional place only. We can curb the tumor then and there at a localized level only. But the situation of radiotherapy in India is alarming because the access rate is low. As I already mentioned that only 28.5% of cancer patients receive this radiotherapy treatment versus the global benchmark of 58.4%. So we are way behind the global standards. And some possible reasons for this are, the number one is infrastructure gap. We do not have adequate number of machinery, the radiotherapy machinery. What do we have? We have only 794 radiotherapy machines versus what is needed? 1450. So there is a huge shortfall here as well. In fact, as per WHO standards, there has to be one machine per million population, but we are falling behind that. So our infrastructure is the number one gap here. Then unequal distribution of services. So first we do not have adequate infrastructure and where we have infrastructure, it is concentrated only in the urban areas. So people from rural areas or from villages are not able to access this machinery. Then there is policy and planning level gaps because if you think of it, why do we not have infrastructure? What is the problem and why is it concentrated only in urban centers? There is a policy level gap, there is a planning level gap. We need to be sure about how we are procuring these machines. Are we going to do R&D in-house and develop these machinery? So there has to be some planning, there has to be a policy level implementation for proper execution of all these things. And then it is very much needed because there are a lot of cancers which require radiotherapy. Many common types of cancer require radiotherapy like breast cancer, head cancer, neck cancer, lung cancer, cervical cancer. So there are many forms of cancer that can be treated by radiotherapy and the cancer burden in India is increasing. So we need to invest in machinery, in radiotherapy machinery in our country. And if we talk about the cancer burden in India, so cancer is the fifth leading cause of death in India and it is only increasing. So it's already the fifth leading cause and 1.57 million new cancer cases are expected by the end of 2025. This again is going to increase the cancer burden. In fact, right now also, India accounts for 7% of global cancer incident, making it the third highest in the world. First is China, second is USA and third is India. And we are expecting 1.57 million more cancer cases by the end of 2025. This is how alarming the cancer situation in our country is. Now, if we look at the types of cancer treatment, so there are multiple types of cancer treatment. First is the surgery. Now, this happens at a very initial stage when there is a physical removal of the tumor. It's very localized, it's regional. Then we have radiotherapy, which we already discussed, where we use high energy beams like gamma rays, x-rays and also protein beam to damage the DNA of our cancerous cells. Then we have chemotherapy where we use these drugs and these drugs act on the fast dividing cells and then we curb cancer. And two very important ones that are now being used are 
immunotherapy and advanced immunotherapy what was happening in all these things there here was a physical removal and here we were treating it from the outside we were treating cancer from the outside versus in immunotherapy we are training our own immune system the body's immune system to recognize the cancer and attack cancerous cells to destroy the cancerous cells so these are advanced level cancer treatment therapies immunotherapy like her two this is being used for breast cancer and advanced immunotherapy like car t cell therapy in this we are training the t cells of our body specifically just the t cells of the body to identify to recognize the cancer and to destroy it so we have an antibody and a t cell receptor so this antibody acts as the eye or the vision of the t cell which recognizes the cancerous cell and this t cell receptor is like a multi level defense system built in defense system which will actually attack the cancerous cell and destroy it so chimeric antigen receptor t cell therapy is a type of advanced immunotherapy then we also have stem cell transplant where we replace the damaged cells with the healthy cells so all these are different types of cancer treatments in practice right now because the cancer burden in india is increasing so we need to focus on all these treatments we need to focus on investing on all these treatments r and d of all these treatments to reduce the cancer burden of our country and if we look at the way forward so the way forward is that we need to invest in our infrastructure first and foremost we need to bridge that gap of infrastructure either through procurement or either through our own r&d we need to have proper policies proper planning in place so that these kinds of thing do not happen in future then we also need to bridge the urban rural gap so if we get infrastructure we need to have it addressed we need to have it everywhere we don't need to have it localized only in the urban areas all these things need to be taken care of we need to get more funding either through private investment or public investment like in the ayushman bharat missions or in the atmanirbhar bharat missions so that we have enough money for procuring these machines or for developing these machines in house so that was all for today's video we understood that the radiotherapy services right now are not adequate in the country and we need to invest more in the infrastructure to deal with the cancer burden of india now let us practice a question for prelims With reference to CAR T cell therapy, consider the following statements. One, it involves modifying a patient's own T cell to express chimeric antigen receptors. Two, in India, CAR T therapy has been fully commercialized and is available at all major cancer hospitals. Select the correct statement. A, one only. B, two only. C, both one and two. D, neither one nor two. Please provide your answers in the comment section, and we will meet in the next video.